Come, Marvelous Muses. Well, I'm home. I am tired. I got up at 3.30 this morning to go to the airport with my daughter. My flight was supposed to be at 7.45. Hers was supposed to be at 5.45. Her flight ended up getting postponed several hours. She just got home earlier. And, uh, luckily my flight went through, but 3.30 in the morning, guys, I am just broke off. I didn't sleep anyway, because you guys know me. I film at night. That's I'm a night person. So, trying to go to bed early enough that I can get up at 3.30 in the morning... I don't think I got two hours of sleep last night, so I made a video. I'm making a video tonight, but it's going to be a very quick video. I am going to post maybe a few pictures in with the video of my trip. Uh, it was a great trip, guys. It really was. It was long needed, long overdue, and uh, I'm glad I did it. Uh, like I said, it was nice to get to see family. I saw family I haven't seen in years. Got the brother I saw I haven't seen in over 40 years. Got a grandson I haven't seen in about 17 years. Um, we actually stayed with him, hung out with him. Got to, I really got to know him. Great kid. Okay, great young man. Can't say kid. Great young man. But, uh, yeah, had a great visit with family. Saw some friends. Went and did a few fun things while we were there. Uh, while we were in my... The town where I live, we, there's a new thrift store. So me and my daughter went to the thrift store. And while we were there, I found a few Halloween things. So I found these. They are lollipop molds. And they are different jack-o'-lanterns or pumpkins. But they are clear. And I was like, how cool is that? I'll probably use them as either with resin or even maybe even UV resin. So... I thought those would be fun to play around with. I got some metal words. These were 99 cents. They say haunted, spooky, and beware. And I thought these would be fun. Um, I've got a big tray or something I may do for Halloween. I haven't decided yet. I also got some Halloween molds. Um, this is pretty cool. It's got bats and, uh, it looks like wrapped candy and pumpkins and, what else? A witch's hat and a broom and a cat with a hat, witch's hat on. Pretty cute mold. I paid $1.99 for that at the thrift store. Pretty cute. Two molds there. Um, I got these. These are stickers. And there's all different kinds in here, different ones. And I thought, how fun would this be to make some silly coasters or something with these? Couldn't see if they were all the same. Oh, nope, they're all different. No, some of them are the same. These are different. They remind me of the uh, Mr. Potato Head, the eyes and stuff, the way they are. So it looks like there's three of each kind. But there's eyes and mouths and a patch and a nose and ties. So how fun would that be, guys, to make some really cute, cute, funny coasters? Cute, right? We went to, years ago, growing up in this town, keep in mind this is in Oklahoma, a lot of western stuff, well there's a store that has been there well before I was born, in fact it started out years ago, we started out as a military surplus store, and eventually when I grew to know him, it, this store took up a whole city block, massive, and it was a Western wear, they sold like ski outfits, they sold boots, work boots, they sold moccasins, uh, I think they sold like horse 
harnesses, stuff like that, the tack for horses and stuff. But uh, every Thursday, if you bought something during the week, you got a little ticket, and they put it in this big hopper. And on Thursday, you had to be there to win. They would do a drawing, and they would spin that big hopper around, and they'd pull that ticket, and if the winner won $500, but you had to be there to win it. You also had to buy something throughout the week to get a ticket put in there. And they used to have dime sodas in this machine, bottles of sodas. And I can remember being going down there with my aunt, and she would buy something, and we'd go down there to see if she won the $500, right? And uh, I would get to get a soda out of the machine. And uh, it was just a lot of good memories. And I've known the people for years. They made movies. I've got I bought four of the movies that they made made westerns um they actually have a actual movie production company called skeleton creek productions if you like westerns guys go check it out uh, but it was started out it was a father and two sons well the father passed away years before i moved years before i moved and uh the sons were left and they took it over they ran it for a long time as a store while the one son went into the nursing home a few years back and so they shut the store down and they turned it into a museum and it is amazing it was so cool going in there and getting to reminisce with him uh, like i said i've known him my whole life and go, getting to go in and talk to him and you know see him because he's not young anymore either you know none of us are and uh i just i wanted to go see him i wanted to go in there and go, get to go get a dose of nostalgia, you know, sometimes nostalgia does you well, but it was so much fun getting to go down there and hang out at his place and talk to him about old times and things in Enid that, that were no longer there and why they took him away to begin with, so it was kind of a messed up deal, but um, while I was there, he gave me a DVD, they used to make commercials that they showed, they were locally pretty much. And uh, they made TV commercials. And most of the time they were advertising like Levi's 501 jeans or whatever. And they were some of the silliest commercials. Oh my God, they were so funny. And uh, they made a compilation CD of all of those. And when I was there, he gave me a copy because he knew I'd already bought all the Westerns he had. And uh, he gave me a copy of that CD. I also got a picture of an old, this is an old train depot, the old Santa Fe depot. Um, I actually remember years ago, we rode a train from here up to, uh, Wichita, Kansas, and we met the train at this depot, and that's where we left from was here, so it was kind of cool, I, I saw that postcard in his place, was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have this, um, uh, we went to the Hobby Lobby warehouse, of course you guys saw the stuff I got there, at the resin, or er, at Basket, Basket World. But we went to the Hobby Lobby in my town to see if anybody that we worked with still worked there. Well, the only person that was still working there was the manager that worked there when I quit. Uh, but he wasn't there the day we went in. But he's the only person that's still there. Uh, so I really didn't buy much there because I wasn't going in there to spend money anyway. I'd already spent quite a bit of money on the trip. Had to eat out a little more than we'd anticipated and a little more than I anticipated. I did order to buy a couple things, and then, like I said, I went to that Hobby Lobby in Oklahoma City, so that was my Hobby Lobby run, pretty much. So, uh, I did buy one item at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it was actually on sale for a dollar and twenty-four cents, and it's a resin mold, and it's like a pencil holder. I got two of them. I got a square one, and I got a round one. So, I thought these would be fun. So that's my that's my short but sweet haul, guys. And like I said, I will post maybe post a few pictures. I've got a picture of my granddaughter, my grandson, my grandson's fiance, my daughter, and myself. I'll post right about here. Uh, and then the picture following it will be a picture of me, my daughter, my middle son, my younger brother, and the brother I haven't seen in 40 years. So, and then I will post a picture of Mom's headstone. They are setting a concrete foundation around it tomorrow. But, uh, they just set it down there for her service, basically. 
and just plant put it in the ground basically for our service so we could have our little ceremony that we were having but all in all it was a good visit like i said i got to see family i haven't seen in forever i got to meet a new great niece um and it's just it was a nice visit and it was long overdue and we really had a good time thought we weren't going to get out of there it was taking forever my daughter's plane got delayed several times several several times today luckily my plane did not i caught my plane i went to houston flew from houston to here i got here about three o'clock this afternoon just a little before three probably two thirty this afternoon um came home visited with cody for some made dinner and i was sitting in there watching tv catching up on my youtube videos i haven't watched and i was nodding off and i said well i'm going to come make a video and tell you guys i'm back Tomorrow night we will have a silly Sunday video. Um, but I just wanted to thank everybody. I've noticed you guys have been watching some of my older videos. I appreciate that. Helps me keep my views up. Uh, I have made it over 2,200 subscribers. I am so blessed, guys. I can't believe that. It's amazing. So, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time to do so. Uh, I really appreciate it again, guys. Appreciate y'all helping make this trip possible. Uh, definitely made getting a headstone possible. And, yeah, made this trip possible. All y'all, it was, you know, it was due to my subscribers that this was able to take place to begin with. So, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. But I am happy to be home. I'm going to get some rest tonight, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.